stand by the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is January 4th, 2010. The time is 5 p.m. and the regular meeting of the Greensburg Board of Works is now in order. I'll reread that, Mayor. That you said Board of Works. Oh, excuse me. Council. You're on the wrong. I got the wrong. You're doing so well. Doing good to that point. Roll call vote, please, Jim. Yeah. Here. Here. Sugar Bowl and saw my alma mater get his butt kicked worse. Uh, I'll try that nomination again. I'd like to nominate the Bill Winning for uh, Council President. I'll second that. We have the discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please, Chief. thing on the agenda is to designate a newspaper official advertiser for the year 2010. Jim, would you mind uh, explaining that to the council? All it is is, is just naming the things we're getting news and signs as being our designated paper. We had another red press party the uh, uh, Columbus Republic, but in the past we've always come up with the daily news because there are to decide this evening we want to be a uh, member of the Community Foundation Board and another one on the Scholarship Committee, correct? Yes. And I've passed out, I think you probably read it on your emails, plus we've got hard copies here. Can you, you put yourself up to date what's going on? Uh, first one probably we'll start with is the appointment of the council. We need to see a council person on this, and, and in all defense of Helen, she has spent several years on this scholarship committee. And, uh, I know that since Bill's our new president, that he served on that. Um, I'm going to ask to Bill, do you have one of the issues with the foundation? Do you have any children in such grade or beyond? Can't do it. Sorry, Helen. <laughs> Good try. That is one of the issues that for this scholarship, the Lily Scholarship, due to IRS rules, we prefer that anyone that sits on the committee does not have a child in seventh or a grandchild in seventh grade or beyond. So that leaves Herbert Darrell. Or Helen. Are you opposed to uh, serving again? Well, I just felt that they needed some fresh eyes 
from the council uh, after a number of years uh, that uh, I've got a lot Herb, on my plate. Herb has Herb. done it uh, a time or two. But, I, I have uh, not. Uh, Jamie's got several children. <laughs> Are they at that age yet? <laughs> well, my oldest one's in sixth grade. So he's about to go close. Would you be interested, Jay? Well, I'm just looking here. It says you're going to meet at 3 The first meeting, you. The 25th at 3.30 is the actual meeting where we basically you bring your grades and your scores back and we pick the final six. And basically the final six, four of those receive scholarships from the foundation of up to $8,000. The final the two that are selected as the Lilly scholarships receive full tuition and $800 to any school in the state. So it's, it's a pretty big scholarship, so we want people that you know have the time and the ability to to it. The, the most time is yeah. you read the essay yeah. on, on your own. Yeah. I do it at night. And we give you a grading scale to follow with like a matrix of what you're, how you're supposed to be grading these. And basically this year you'll have one long essay, then you will grade the student's school activities, the community activities, and there's an essay regarding what is the most important to them in, in relationship to their school and community activities. They pretty much weed themselves out as you get piles of and zeros down. And then when you come to the final uh, selection, it's amazing that uh, out of what, there's six or there's eight, six, there's others five that, others uh, would be doing this, and it all falls in place that your uh, selection is very similar to what the rest of them have. It's amazing. Yeah, I concur with Helen. I mean, it's you, you read them, then you're having a tough time placing them, and then when you get to go to everyone else, they, 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 everyone generally agrees with yeah, everyone. I was just looking at this, though. I mean, just with my work schedule, you've got to be there Friday at noon, the, the fri- 8th, the and then January 25th at 3.30, and I usually don't know why. That's, that's my yeah. only concern. Is the Friday at noon when I can work around. The, the, one, the other one, I re- we really do need the person there at 3.30. Well, I think in the past, though, some of the people have sent their scores We've for done, that final one. For the final the one, we have done that. that. That's a preference we prefer not to have in case there's any discussion. I mean, it's just mm-hmm. in fairness to those students if we get to the point there's a discussion. And then everyone has their representation. It pretty much works out solely by the numbers. But... make it work for the 25th. I, I don't know that I'll be able to be there for the 8th. And that's that's not an issue. Yeah. Basically, the on the 8th, if you are the person to do it, Jamie, call us at the office and we'll set up a time. It's basically to go over the grading scale and the rules, and we can sit down and do that with you at a different time. So are you willing to set that then, Jamie? I'll make a motion we approve Jamie King. I'll second, second that motion. Discussion. Hearing none, no further vote, Jim. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate it. Thank you. And the next item is the Care County Community Foundation board member. And uh, there are two people who have volunteered to accept this board position. I uh, understand uh, Len Tebby. He's leaving the board because of limitations. Yes, his term limit has ran out. And, you know, if anybody else, if you had anybody else in mind, it should be considered. Uh, Would you like to tell us about these two people here, Sharon? We have a volunteer recruitment committee that has went out and talked to people to fill this position a little bit based on what we need and based on people that know stuff about, have a background with the foundation. The two individuals you see, you have Dennis Wilson, who is a retired teacher from Greensburg Schools. He has sat on our scholarship committee and also has sat in on um, with one of our fundraising phases in the past. The other is Kara Phillips. Kara works at Main Source Bank. She is an accountant by trade, which to us brings a financial background that is something that we could also use. So two very worthy candidates both said that they would be willing to serve. Um, you know, it's totally up to you if you would select one of them. If you want to present a nominee back to us, then our board will approve or decline that. That is the, the stipulation that our bylaws say that whoever you select, we have. If 
officially yes or no. Um, time is going to be short uh, to an essence.